No. Oh, Mitch just went to back up. Hi! Black Diamond says hi to Nikki and the puppies. Oh my god, that's hot. <laughs> Sorry. That was, uh, it's quite hot. Okay, so I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for my voice. I am uh, struggling really bad <laughs> with my voice. Hi, Stephanie. But we're gonna try and make do because I, I didn't wanna miss a Sunday going live. I had so much fun with you all, so I wanna just make it work. So if my voice is too much, please let me know. I'm gonna try to talk quietly because actually I have a better time talking quiet than I do when I'm trying to like, you know, what is it called? Like when you try to project your voice. So we're gonna make do. And we're gonna get this live going. I have my skin totally prepped with my, all my lotions and potions as Mitch calls them and my sunscreen. So now I'm gonna finish my brows. My voice is not, is maybe like 10, 15% better. Yesterday it was just unbelievably bad. It was so bad. Um, we can tell you, oh, sweet. Hi, Anissa. So again, sorry I had a time for my voice. I hope you bear with me. I've got some goodies to create a pretty to Sunday makeup look. Hi from South Africa, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Wear your mic so you don't have to force your voice. Oh, I know. Well, my mic is all the way in the studio. Otherwise, I totally would. But it's like fully set up in like the right spot and everything. But we're going to make do, like I said. But I have a whole bunch of makeup next to me to do a look. Okay. And if you hear the dogs in the background, they're right next to me. And they get really excited when I'm home and they just will play like crazy. They just like, they make noises, they talk to each other. It's really funny. You could probably hear them now. <laughs> okay. How is everyone's Sunday so far? And how's like the long weekend? You guys, do you have any plans? Tristan says hi. Oh, Tristan. Mitch says hi. Anyone have like fun plans for the three day weekend? And Bella, I tried to find your Instagram handle. I couldn't find, cause I was gonna message you and I couldn't find your Instagram handle. I, I couldn't, um, I remember your name was Bella, but I couldn't remember the rest of your handle. I couldn't find a link to my plastic. Um, it's like a rubber black bag that you saw me last week on my live. I couldn't find a link. It's really old, so I'm so sorry. But if I do find one, I promise I will post about it. For now, I need to finish my brows because they're only partially done. Mitch says I need to be closer, so hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's do a little adjusting. Oh gosh. Laura, Laura Christian says, let me try to copycat you. My makeup artist canceled on me and I have a wedding to attend. Oh no. Oh, today? Well, okay, if you're gonna try to copy me, can I suggest you watch my wedding guest makeup tutorial? It's super, I think it's really easy to follow. And I think if you're trying to do your own makeup or to attend a special occasion, like a, a wedding or an event, you should definitely watch that video. It's probably like a year and a half old at this point. Yeah. Okay, so let's go look a little dark for a second. Hold on. You're doing your brows. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna color correct underneath my brow and conceal. Definitely trying to drink a ton of hot tea at the moment. Let's see. Oh, nice. Have fun at the high school graduation. Influencer journey. Nice, Jamie. That, congrats, that is so awesome. If you need any advice, let me know. Okay, so I'm just using my NARS Honey Concealer in Honey <laughs> to clean up my brows. I've been drinking, what have I been drinking? 
Just like peppermint, um, chamomile, I think we had. Basically anything that was in the cupboard, which we're not big tea drinkers over here, so we really only bust it out when we need to. Okay, these are the dogs. Getting over COVID, oh no. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I'm happy that you're getting over it. Okay. Before, do you hear these doggies? They're insane. So before I do the rest of my brows, I'm gonna get my complexion going. And I'm gonna re-wet my skin, like re-dampen, re-moisturize it, re-moisten it. Um, where's Mitch's feet? Before I go in, because my skincare has had like at least 30 minutes to soak in. So my skin feels a little dry to the touch and I wanna just kind of rehydrate it before I go in with my foundation. So I'm gonna use my Always an Optimist Rare Beauty. It's like the mini size setting spray. I, you could probably hear them. I'm telling you, they're so excited when I'm home. They're like, it's like party time to them. They're like, okay, let's party. Let's act crazy. And which is laughing at me. So I have a new foundation that I got in PR. This is the Image Skincare. It's called Conceal, but it's a foundation. Well, I, I guess you can use it as concealer as well. I think it's too thin for that. So it's got SPF 30 and it says it's a flawless foundation. I got sent a bunch of different shades, but beige has been like the best shade for me. And I've actually been really liking it. So it's probably my third time maybe four times trying this. So I'm grab a brush. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 113. Guys. <laughs> Get dogs, they said. It'll be fun. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, we love our dogs so much. So happy for you for growing the channel. Here before 30K, wow, you're an OG and we appreciate you so much. Good morning from Santa Cruz, Oh, Mitch loves Santa Cruz. But, you know, you, you and I still have to go. These dogs are cracking me up. I posted the link to the wedding guest makeup as well. Okay, so. In the comments. In the comments, Mitch just posted a link to the wedding guest makeup tutorial. So for the person that is doing their makeup for um, a wedding, to attend a wedding today, check that video out. I really think it's gonna help you out and let me know. But, okay, so let me talk about this foundation because I really like it. I feel like it makes my skin look just unbelievably healthy. And the color match is pretty good. This is the shade beige, like I said. John says, hi, Nikki and Mitch. Mm. Hi, John. Mm. Well, that's really pretty. Like my skin mm -hmm. just looks really pretty. I have to say, I, I'm, I, every time I wear this, I'm like, wow, this is really good. I gotta talk about this more. <clears throat> and as always, everything will be in the description box. So once this is uploaded, I promise it will all, every, all the names, if you missed any will be just list it below. <laughs> Jamie, I am on TikTok. And I have to say, I'm, I pat myself on the back because I've been posting really regularly on TikTok, like almost every single day. Granted, I just repurpose my Instagram content on TikTok because it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of content to come up with for three different platforms, like, you know, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. So if you head to my TikTok, it's gonna be a lot of the same stuff that you see on my Instagram but it's there. And they're trying to talk to you guys right now. Okay. How is this foundation for oily skin? So I have oily skin and so far I love it. I have been really, really liking it. So I'm gonna continue to test it out and you know, see if my thoughts change. But don't be surprised if you see this end up in a a favorites video because it's really nice. Like, I'll show you the finish one more time up close. It's so pretty, even kind of covered up his pimple. A 
Alaska. Wow. I think I missed your question. I, I was too intrigued by Alaska. Romania. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. Michaela, thank you so much. You love my Kurt Must Have video. I love that you show personal items that wear makeup. Okay, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you so much for that feedback. That's really good to hear because you never know when you start sharing just different things on a platform that is all makeup related. So it's good to hear that you enjoyed that. I'm so happy to hear that feedback. And thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that support. And you're literally using the tripod right now. And I'm using the tripod that's in that favorites video right now. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little color correcting under my eye. This is from EXA. It's the Color Corrector, High Fidelity Color Corrector in pink. So this is really light on me, but since it does have that pink tone to it, it's gonna help to color correct a little bit. Mainly this just does a lot of brightening for me. Because traditionally I would be using a color corrector that has more of a peach or an orange hue to it but this does work. And I'm gonna pat it in with an A506 from BK Beauty. Can you do a Sephora blush video? You did, but with bronzer. Huh. Oh. <laughs> well, Tabitha. Well, Tabitha. <laughs> Literally. You might be in luck. <laughs> you just might be in luck, okay? Literally in the middle of it. You know, well, if you could hear Mitch in the background, mm -hmm. he says we're in the middle of it, so he just gave it away. No, actually, I have been, we have worked, we've already um, shot two days worth of that video that you just proposed. And I had to stop because of my voice. So, you know, it's not gonna be done anytime soon. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my NARS Honey and go over the top of that bright pink corrector. Bella, don't worry, I promise you I will list it in the description, but it's from Image Skincare. Anissa, I know. And you know, I thought about doing my other um, cheek as well, like, you know, alternating back and forth. But here's the thing, the way I set up, or the way we set up the lighting and the camera angle is to get this part of my face because we'd have to, well, the thing is we have to switch from one side to the next. It would slow down the whole filming process a lot if we did that. So for that reason alone, we're just gonna stick to one cheek, keep it just like the the OG blush video, and um, you know, my cheek will recover. It did last time, it's okay. Maybe I'll get a facial after. Okay. Just blend this out. Nikki, I live in NYC. If you could come here. Wait, what was the question? If you, if you come here, would you be open to be private? I'm 57, I'm 58, and need your help. Next time I come to New York, well, I'll probably announce it, and you could message me. And if I have time, I'm definitely open to it, of course. Hi, Tiana. Oh my gosh, makeup over 68. How long did you, the blush video take to film? It's outstanding. Oh, thank I you so much. Six times. Wow. Oh my God, I wish I could send you the, the biggest hug for watching that video so many times. You're amazing. And that video took how long, would you say? A long time. Yeah, it just says a long time. I think we blocked it out mentally because it was such a draining video to film and get edited and uploaded, all those things. It was quite an undertaking. So I'm gonna go in with my cream bronzer. This is Laguna. And it's the original Laguna, it's the O2 because they have a bunch of different shades, like deeper ones and one lighter one. This this is my my go-to for my complexion. Okay. And we are where the girls are. Wait, hold on, I'll read that. It's oh, cute. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this with a BK Beauty A507. Oh my God. Thank you so much for your post bronzer facial. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna need that. I really am. You are so sweet. Thank you. There's 
already a good surprise in the browser, but one product that you'd like that you didn't even try yet. Uh, Me? Yeah, the one that you, the one that starts with an A. You said you've never tried it before. Oh, Anastasia. Mm -hmm. Hi, Cynthia! You made it! Okay, so I'm just going to blend this on top of my forehead and just stipple it in. Just to warm up my complexion. My most loved and used BK Beauty brush is by far the 106. By far. Um, Sarah, I listen to a lot of oldies, but a lot of like rock and roll, like classic rock. This is my jam. The sunscreen that I have on today is from La Roche Posay. I don't have it next to me, but it's one that I actually got when I was in Paris. That sounds very bougie, but um, I went to a French pharmacy and I picked up two boxes of it. It's, um, it's an Anthelios matte finish sunscreen. It's got SPF 50 and it is just amazing. Tomas, come here. You still have in your life. I'm just gonna try to pick him up. He's going crazy, literally. Oh, I'm so happy you made it. Thank you for joining my live. Sorry you came on a day where I have a really um, hard voice to listen to. <laughs> okay. Mitch says it's not that bad. I, Tomas is being ridiculous right now. Okay. No. I have a really, really exciting new product that I'm obsessed with. I've only got to use it once. And I've been saving it for today to use it again. So Persona Cosmetics, I don't know if you know, I love their cream blushes so much. Like they're they're called a blush multi-stick. I love this formula. I use them all in my kit. I use all three, well, I use four shades in my kit and then I use three of the other shades in for me. I love Kiss, Bubble, Teddy is my jam. Like we're besties. But this is a new shade they came out with and it was in collaboration with an influencer named... Sarah Wolak, or Wolak. Um, I had never heard of her, but I looked her up. She's this really pretty girl with great style. So I was like, hey, you came up with a stunning blush shade. So congrats to you. This is the new shade called Bloom. So Bloom, let me show you how unbelievably pretty this is. I know, it's like, you'd think I would have had a blush like this already, but I don't. I feel like I don't have a shade that looks like this. So I'm really excited to show you how stunning it is on. And I think I'm gonna try it on with, or I'm going to apply it, because I've already used it once. But I'm gonna apply it with a 107 from BK Beauty. But so far your makeup is very subtle. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. It's really nice, honestly, to, to take a break from filming with artificial light and to just put myself in front of natural light because makeup looks different. It just looks so different. And depending on the lighting, lighting can make or break your makeup. And I talk about this a lot. Um, but yeah, so the natural lighting, it just, it really shows what the true colors look like. So it's great if you're really trying to figure out like if you want to purchase products or if it's going to work on you, you can really tell what the heck it looks like when you're in front of natural lighting. So that's why I actually always say, if you are, you know, testing out foundation color, like a new foundation shade, and you're not sure if it works for you, if you just get in your car and you look in your rear view mirror, like your mirror in front of you, that's the best way to see what it's gonna look like in natural light. So not in your bathroom mirror with your bathroom overhead lighting, that's the worst way to tell what your makeup looks like. Um, do I have recommendations for brushes aside from BK Beauty? I, I mean, I love my MAC brushes. I'm an OG MAC girl, so MAC, you really can't go wrong with MAC brushes. But also, I think Sephora brand, like Sephora's brand in store, their brushes are phenomenal. They're such incredible brushes. They last a great amount of time. They, they hold up really well. So I love those. I recommend those all the time especially if you can get those during the um, the savings events because they're always 30% off when Sephora has the two sales during the year, like the spring 
in the fall, you can get them for 30% off, and it's a great deal. How pretty is that? Thank you, Talia? Is it Talia? Talia. Thank you, Talia. Just a little on my nose. Okay. Please do a current skincare routine. You know, I will. I have a I have one from like last, or maybe like two years ago at this point, almost two years ago. So I'll definitely do an updated one soon. And I do plan on doing a nighttime one soon as well. So stay tuned for that. It will definitely be on my YouTube. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> the dogs? She needs this. The babies are making a funny sound. It's hilarious. Or is that Mitch? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Mm. I'm going to set my under eyes now that my cream products are on. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Hold. Wait, no, actually, no. After, after. I'm going to use old school Laura Mercier translucent powder. I had a new one that I opened up recently and it made me remember why or how much I like that OG formula. It's, it's just great. So I'm going to take my powder puff. This is my favorite way to apply my powder. But I'm first, I'm going to buff out any creases. So I don't bake them in under my eyes. Oh, nice, you made it. Happy Sunday morning. Dana, baby, your makeup looks amazing. Oh, really? Mitch says my makeup looks amazing. Wow, thank you. Okay, hold on. Just get this on really quick. Watched your video yesterday and thought you were holy power wash hand. Wait, <laughs> what was that, Cynthia? Was it the, the um, tripod? <laughs> That's so funny. That's hilarious, because I probably would have something like that. Yes, Mitch is the best hype man. But he doesn't hype me up unless he believes it, honestly. If Mitch does like my makeup, he will flat out tell me, so don't you worry. <laughs> He is brutally, brutally honest, which is good. I don't want to be, I don't want to be lied to, so. Oh my God, happy 32nd birthday, Jasmine. I hope you're going to do your makeup and like, you know, a fun birthday, going out, getting dinner, celebration kind of way. Hope you do something fun. And speaking of fun. Yes, I'm going to use my Girlactic stuff because I'm on a roll with it. Like I, I pretty much use it every single day. So I'm gonna grab my shadow stick. Oh wait, this is blush. Or no, no, I don't wanna use this one. Hold on. And let me show you a recent organizing thing I got from Target. It's on a swivel. And I add all my shadow sticks. All my brow stuff is in the center. Liquid liners, brow glues, brow um, gels, Lash glue, all kinds of stuff. This thing is amazing. It was $14 at Target. I highly recommend it. If you have a lot of like pencils that you want to be sticking straight up, this was it. Okay, let me just grab my nut mag. Actually, you know what? Let's do something different. No, I want my nut mag, sorry. Your new organization has been on point for sure. Yeah, even Mitch says too. I spent like half a day organizing my makeup in the studio and it, it's like life-changing when your makeup is organized especially for me i i'm the type of person that can't even handle having um like stuff in my car like if i have too many like jackets and water bottles or you know whatever bags things in my car it like clutters my mind you know i'm, I'm like that person so for my makeup my makeup was so unorganized that it was causing chaos in my head, so. Oh my God, you got a note with yours? Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, so I'm gonna just blend this all over the base of my eye. And then I'm gonna take a 204 from BK Beauty and I'm gonna start by tapping and pressing it into my lid first. Oh my gosh, thank you, Elizabeth. You're so sweet. Do you do any specific makeup? I missed the rest of that question. Which part? Honestly, you're so stunning. That part? Yeah. Uh, honestly, you're so stunning. Your skin always looks oh. Do you have... Wait, do you do anything specific to make 
it looks so good for your, all for your skin. Well, I just do a lot of skincare underneath and I think that makes, it plays a big, big part in how my makeup looks overall on top of my skin. Okay, so now that that's pushed onto my eyelid, super easy, I'm gonna take the tip of my brush and just blend it into the crease softly. Welcome, Nancy, I'm so happy you made it. Could you film a video about 10 minutes long about for busy mornings? Oh, okay. Powders is faster. Hmm. You want like a quick routine, you got it. Okay, but look how pretty this is. In the meantime, we did do a 10 minute makeup routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I have a couple five minute, five minute makeups and 10 minute makeup looks on my channel. I definitely think you should check that out if you want like a quick makeup look. That's our espresso maker. That's gonna be a really helpful video. <laughs> the other brushes that I use are a lot of MAC, a lot of Sephora brands. I use some brushes from Refer. And what else do I use? Oh, Real Techniques. I have a couple e.l.f. cosmetics. Um, Zoeva. Face brushes, Zoeva. Thank you, babe. Which shade is the stick? It's This is Nutmeg. Have you tried NO7 makeup? Any good? Um, number, number seven, um, I have actually tried their powder only. And their pressed powder is really nice. So the brush cleaner that I use, darn it, it's in my studio. It's, um, gosh, what is it called? I love Cinema Secrets. I'll post about it. I'll, I'll write the brush cleaner that I use the most in the description of this video when, once it's uploaded. I love my Cinema Secrets, but I think it's really expensive for what it is. And there's another one that I like just as much and it's a little more um, affordable. So I'm gonna blend this out a touch. I just love the way that looks by itself, you know? It's like easy, quick, it's natural. It's like a nice daytime look. Like I could stop here, finish my brows, do my mascara and some eyeliner and be done, so. Why don't you do more? Mitch says he wants me to do more, so we're gonna do more. Oh my God, Claudia, you ordered the collab. I can't wait for you to get it. Hi from Valencia. Tips to blend into the hairline to get color into, oh gosh. Rachel, that is a hard one because I have so many blonde clients, like mm. so many. And you have to be very careful when blending bronzers and products into the hairline. Uh, what I actually do, and this is kind of like an industry secret, I, I bring the bronzer or the contour just up to like where these, you'd see like these baby hairs and from here on, I actually fill in their hairline very softly with a, a blonde beige um, eye, eyebrow powder. Um, actually, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palette and I fill in the hairline with just that powder and then it's that's that's the way to go for me. You like that? I love that, yeah. Oh, nice. Great. I would record it, but I don't have blonde hair and I don't know if my clients would be down to film that. So <laughs> I can only talk to you about it and tell you about it. Okay, I'm gonna grab my palette. This is the Essential Palette from Girlactic. This is part of my collab and my bundle. It's My bundle is still available. It's gonna be available for the next couple months at least. So I'm gonna dip into a little bit of skin because this is my go-to. And I'm using a Clean 202 from BK Beauty. I'm just gonna layer this lightly on top. Makeup Lover 68, I will definitely leave a link, like a direct link in this video description, but you could also head to my last week's upload. It's my signature eye makeup look or my signature makeup look, and it's gonna be all tagged and linked there. Hello from Romania. This is a random question, but what is your favorite jean brand? I like my Zara jeans, honestly. And Levi's. And Levi's, yeah. Sucker. <laughs> I like my sucker. <laughs> yeah, Zara and Levi's. You never wear low-cut low jeans for me. 
Mitch says I never wear low cut jeans for him. Yeah, you know why? Because they're hideously unflattering for women, in my opinion. Stop it. They are. I don't have an opinion. You know, you just made me mess up my eyeshadow look. I would love to go to Romania and Bulgaria and Greece. Oh my gosh. Romania. Sounds amazing. Yeah, see, okay. Low cut jeans are horrible. Everyone agrees. You're outnumbered. <laughs> Sorry. High cut jeans all the way. A hundred percent. Or 2000s? What was it? 2000s. He's stuck in the 2000s. Yeah. You know, Mitch's favorite movie is Fast and Furious, so that doesn't tell you why he likes <laughs> low cut jeans. I don't know. <laughs> he loves Fast and Furious. The original one. Oh no, I can't get away from low cut jeans. Oops. You and oh my god, Tristan's on your side. Nice. What? See? He's got one one uh There you go, Tristan. One person on the side, okay. Hey, you know what? It's different for everyone. <laughs> okay. Let's blend this out. And Shelly says, What do you recommend for aging skin under the eyes? Best concealer and foundation? No matter what I do, it seems to look cakey. Very little powder and little foundation. I also hydrate well before. You might want to try just an under eye brightener, something very thin, like the MAC ones, the MAC Prep and Prime um, under eye brighteners. Those are phenomenal under the eye. They never look cakey. They never look crepey. They don't sink into fine lines and they're great if you have really dry skin under your eyes. Or if you want a really inexpensive um, alternative, you can do the e.l.f. one. It's like a little twist up clicker wand. It has a little brush to it. Or if you want to go high end, YSL Touche Clot or whatever it's called is great. And that is like, I would try that. Honestly, I'd skip the heavy concealers if you're saying that nothing works for you. Try something like that, like a really thin formula, and that might do the trick for you. So, but let me know. I'm curious. Let me know if you do end up trying it and it works because I, I feel like it would really help you out. Okay. Barnaby says. <laughs> She's gonna go watch Fast X today. I said, I said, nice. uh, yes, let me know how it is because Nikki won't go watch it with me. Oh, I would go see Fast X with you. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. I would oh my God, Vivian, thank you for ordering my collab. I know you are going to love it. Like, I say that with the utmost confidence. I feel like I know your style with makeup and I just know you're gonna love it. Okay. I'm gonna take my Casablanca bronzer. This is not, this is from Girlactic, but it's not a part of my bundle, but I love Casablanca with a blending eyeshadow brush as my soft nose contour. So I start in this little nook and then shade it down. Armani Luminous Silk for Mature Skin is always a hit, always. I'm missing some questions. I'm sorry. Fortune says, <clears throat> hey, Nikki, what's your opinion on mineral makeup versus foundation? I'm, I'm trying to focus on skincare and wondering if that's the best way to go for daily coverage. Um, like bare minerals type makeup? I'm, I'm going to be honest, not a fan. Yeah. Not a fan at all. I think that, you know, I think they should be two separate worlds, basically. I think that you should not worry about your makeup solving your any skin issues that's not the way to go i think you solve your skincare issues before you you treat your skin before you put your makeup on top and that's always just you're gonna get a better outcome always so what i mean by that is make sure you have a great solid skincare routine prior to doing your makeup and don't rely on your makeup especially like mineral-based makeup to solve your skincare your skin issues i hope that makes sense Christina says, I bought Dior Backstage Highlighter Palette from your recommendation, but it's mm. worth a splurge. Mm-hmm. It is. Oh, here we go. So, hi, Nikki. I would love to hear some recommendations for powder blush brushes. BK Beauty brushes are unfortunately too expensive with shipping cost things. I would try some Real Techniques. Real Techniques has, um, or even ELF. <clears throat> ELF Cosmetics has some great powder brushes, but Real Techniques honestly always has some kind of sale, especially at Ulta. They're always like 
10, 15% off, I feel like. And they have some great brushes, like really great affordable brushes. So definitely try to check them out. I'm gonna have some water, hold on. Okay. Um, I didn't mention it, but I'm just taking more of my Laguna cream and I'm pre, pre-lining my lips. Okay, so let's see here, uh, this one here. I have purple and green veins, my, but my skin is like yellow green. Any concealer recommendations? Wait, okay, so you have purple. And green veins. And green, purple and green veins. Okay, purple, purple, There's, purple? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I said purple like 55 times. Okay, it sounds like you're neutral. You might, I don't know about purple, I'd have to see it, but maybe you're maybe you have blue and green veins, and maybe you're just kind of looking purple. Um, if you have both, regardless, if you have two different color veins, you're neutral. Hmm. So go for foundation formulas that are gonna say concealer. that have you know or concealer. Concealer, you want you want to go for one to have N in the title, so hmm. an N is gonna stand for neutral, and that's gonna be your that should be the best undertone for your skin. So I'm taking more of skin, speaking of skin, and a 209 from BK Beauty. Thank you, Rima, or Remo, wait, Remo? Please tell me I didn't say your name wrong. I'm so sorry if I did. I'm so happy you think the Galactic collab is a good deal. It's $151 value, so it's, it is a really good deal. Oh my gosh, thank you, Lauren. You're so sweet. Oh, oh, yeah. So Celine says, Reem. I'll be shopping next okay, weekend. Okay, my friends call me Reem. That's cute. I love that. I'll be shopping next weekend with my niece and daughter for makeup and we'll definitely take some samples. How do you think the new Hourglass Foundation is for mature skin? The new Hourglass Foundation um, mm -hmm. is phenomenal, first of all. They actually have some kind of, I can't remember what it's called exactly, but there's some kind of smoothing ingredient to it. So it's great if you have, you know, if you wanna smooth fine lines, wrinkles, things like that. It's a really nice formula, highly recommend it. I actually don't use that one enough, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Pure Brown Gel Eyeliner from the collab, it's from Girlactic. I'm gonna tight line with this. So hold on for one second. I'll make sure I leave a link in this video for you. You're done, Pauline asked, what is your favorite liquid eyeliner to use? Mm -hmm. I have a lot of them. I use it, I don't know. Hmm? The one I use that after all. Mm -hmm. Mitch likes Revlon. I think one on with a Sharpie is awesome. Honestly, I, I have quite a few favorite liquid liners. I have one for my for my Girlactic collab. That's amazing. These are all my liquid liners. I'll actually show you right now because they're right here in my handy dandy turny thing. So the new one from Rare Beauty is a must. Like a must. It is so good. This one is from my Girlactic collab. This is phenomenal. I love the brush tip to it. It's like very long but it's sturdy, so you can really get in there and just have a ton of control, and it's jet black, which I love. This does not run or smudge or transfer from your bottom to top lid when you're talking and you're moving. So this is like my jam. I also love the Fenty Beauty fly liners. These are phenomenal. And then I'm really impressed by this. This is from Urban Decay. It's their new liquid liner. It's the 24 seven inks liner. This is really great. I got the shade Whiskey and I need to film more, more videos with this one because it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna take more of my gel liner. Amanda says, Amanda says, I almost missed your vibe. I've been rescuing kittens all morning from feral cat colony. You've been rescuing kittens all morning, Amanda? She rescued five kittens this morning. They have eye infections in their eyes and <gasps> putting ointment on them and getting them ready for foster. Gosh. Oh my God. Well, it sounds like you've had an incredibly busy day. 
Well, that's awesome you're able to rescue them. Poor guys, poor little kittens. Well, Jamie just followed your IG and TikTok. I thought it was already following your IG, but I was wrong. <laughs> oh my God, thank you, Jamie. I appreciate that. I know sometimes we forget, like we assume we're following people and then when you go to check, you're not and you feel so bad. I've definitely done that. It's usually with models that be like, I'm like, oh, what's your, what's your Instagram? Like all oh, innocent. They're like, I already follow you. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. Remo says, so my BFF and I were talking about tight lines at the bottom last line. And I was saying it's really better not to do it if you want to open up your eyes. Am I right about that? Or am I, did I misguide her? Uh, Rima, you're completely right about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna dip in with a flat angle brush and use the color Bark and a little bit of Spice and just mix the two. And then we're gonna just apply this on top. Carla, I am obsessed with the NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen. There, I mean, it's so much better than the Glossier one. It's a fortune. There's not one that beats it, honestly. It's only eight bucks. Sarah says, would you get more tattoos? I want to so bad. I want to tattoo my hand and Mitch is on the fence about it. So. You better tell the backstory that I'm like so about you getting any, ta any tattoos you ever want. You tell them the backstory. I'm not gonna tell them the backstory. No, I, I want to tattoo my hand really bad. And um, it's so funny because Mitch is so supportive of all tattoos. He loves, he always says like, get whatever you want, do whatever you want, which is amazing. But my hand, he's like, I don't know about your hand. He, um, it's really sweet. He's like, that's the hand that I married and all this stuff. And he, he just doesn't want to see it different. So I get that. Your hand's just so precious. He says so my hand is precious to him. Thank you. You're Brow pens for thin brows. Yeah, definitely check out the Lift and Snatch from NYX or from NYX. Okay, so I'm just adding more to that pencil that I smudged out. Fallout. Okay. Oh, she says, uh, oh my God. Again, I'm just mixing a little bit of bark and spice from the Girlactic palette. Just to get kind of a custom deep brown. This is a good one. Tori asks, do you, do you have any lash Not styles? Not necessarily. Do you have any lash styles you'd recommend for bridal? I'm struggling with individuals and want something mostly natural with a bit of drama. 100%. I got you. Get a pair of Ardell Wispies and cut them in half. Cut them in half and use, um, or cut the very end that's really dramatic off and just use it as a half lash and to for like a little lift and a little like extra drama on the ends. It, it's always a hit, always. Okay, I'm going to take now a A504 from BK Beauty, and I'm going to dip into a little bit of this shade Oak, just a, de a teeny, teeny bit. And I want to just add a little drama right here. Okay. Christine just said, I just purchased a collaboration like a gift for my 30th birthday in the 7th of June. Gosh. Oh, happy birthday. Okay, so Vanessa says, Nikki, I saw you using Paula's Choice 2% BHA and started it a few weeks ago. My base makeup goes on so well now. Yep. It's just... Any liquid exfoliator is going to just get your skin primed and smooth and ready for makeup. It's a, a miracle what those products do. A miracle. Rima says 30s are great. Chris, yes, 30s are, are great. 
Star Wild says, besides being so supportive of each other, what are your secrets to a long, happy partnership slash marriage? Oh. Oh. Well, besides being supportive of each other, well, we listen to each other. Yeah, like, sure. you know, we listen to, not to sound cheesy, but like each other's needs and stuff. And that's something that we both didn't really have in like previous relationships. Um, and trust, we have to, we trust each other. Like, you have to have trust. Um, what else? What else would you say? Oh, I think it's just through us being mature enough to know who we are and we can really be there yeah. for each other. You know, like you do, you show me so much support and I show you so much for support. I've had so much relationship. Yeah, lots of support, trust, and we are mature. Like we both have been in long, long-term relationships before this one and we learned a lot from it. So that helped a lot. Wouldn't you say? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes and we're gonna get some mascara on these and then we're gonna finish these brows. This is my Refer lash curler. I love this lash curler. I think it works so well. Yeah. Lola says, I can't believe I need to lie today. Have, have a question. Have you ever used the Eco Tools brushes? And if so, or if yes, what do you think? I don't like them. I have used them. Um, a client of mine used to use them all the time and I, I kind of test them out one time at her house and I'm not a fan of them, but to each their own, you know, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I think I'm sure they work for a lot of people, but I wasn't a big fan of them. Okay, so now that my lashes are curled, I'm gonna put Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara on. And it is so gloomy in Southern California right now, it's crazy. It's, it almost looks like it's gonna rain. Jeez, Sherry says, You're, you're you are a good soul, and I love oh. how much supports you. You are blessed. I just interviewed a victim <gasps> of domestic abuse, and her abuser her husband beat her for wearing makeup. <gasps> right. Oh my god. Who was this? Christina? Sherry Foster. Sherry, thank you. First of all, Sherry, thank you so much for the compliment. And wow, sounds like you have a really heavy, heavy career interviewing people that go through that. It's okay. so sad. Sarah says, Nikki, are you quick to get ready for date night or do you take a long time? <laughs> Honestly, I'm usually quick because I'm already ready to go. Like I go to work ready with, you know, makeup on and stuff typically unless it's a really early call time, but yeah, I'm, I usually pretty quick, right? Are we thinking about the same thing? Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, why, when am I? Well, I guess sometimes, yeah, you are, are kind of- Sometimes ready. I'm quick. But if you have to get ready, if you actually have to get ready to go out- Yeah. Like, and you're not always already ready, I mean- Yeah, like if I have to shower and like do everything from like the ground up, then yeah, it's gonna take me a minute. Yeah, it's like two hours. No. <laughs> Baby, I don't ever take two hours to get ready, like, at I can all. I watch an entire movie by the time you're done. Getting ready. You're such a liar. <laughs> you're such a liar. No. An hour tops. And that's with, like, wet hair, out of the shower, like, you know, do, doing all the things. Oh, Tattoo says, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. She says, you're from Egypt. She says, come to Egypt. I want to come to Egypt. Oh, my God. Now. Mitch wants to go to Egypt so bad. All I want to do. God, that mascara is good. It's so good. Now I'm trying to use this up, just an FYI, because it's almost out. Like it's getting dried up. It's like it's on its it's on its last week, probably of use before I have to toss it. So I'm trying to get it out and get it done because I've opened so many new mascaras and I don't want to be wasteful and have them like you know expire and go bad before I can get the chance to use them all. But I want to use the rest of for the bottom lash line. I want to use my Girlactic. This is also my collab, it's a Lash Play Duo. The detailing side to this mascara. So there's two sides, this is the lengthening. And this is the detailing. And it's this tiny little wand. This wand is the best for the bottom lashes. I think there's a good comment here. So Jesse says, well, there's a lot of comments coming in. 
Uh, Jesse says, I love you so much. Hold on a second. She says, I, I started developing an obsession with makeup lately and come across and I came across your videos and fell in love with mm -hmm. makeup even more. You've helped me so much and to learn about the basics. And she said, I've bought so much of what you've recommended in your videos and I trust you so much. This is Jesse? Yeah. Wow, Jesse. That's a huge compliment and it's so exciting to hear like, you know, you're getting more into makeup and you're watching my videos and you're inspired to do makeup. That's I love that. I, I love that for you. I'm so excited for you to like get more into makeup because makeup is makeup is fun, you know? Makeup is a blast, in my opinion. And I've always talked about this too, like it's such a mood booster, you know? If you're in a funk or you're feeling a little weird or maybe a little insecure, doll yourself up, you know, put on a red lipstick, put some mascara on, curl your lashes, like all those things are such a like, like very, they seem trivial and like not important obviously, but if they boost your mood in any way, they're, they are important to me. Okay, I'm gonna add the Girlactic Luminous Face Powder in the shade Neutral. So this is kind of like, I would use it in the same way as I use the, um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, like those trio of powders. They give you like a soft focus, kind of lit from within look to your skin. This does the same thing. So I'm gonna apply it with a Refer 05 brush. And I wanna sweep this, oh yeah, just across my forehead. Yeah, skincare and makeup is definitely self-care. And I think that anyone that says it's not doesn't know what we're talking about. Paula, There's all kinds of different self-care. Paula has an interesting question here. I have hooded, out, hooded, hooded lids, and no matter what eyeshadow primer I use, they always crease where the hood folds over. Hmm. I do set them down a little bit prior to applying shadow. Any ideas? Man. You're going to need a really good eyeshadow base if you're still experiencing creasing. Um, I think that the MAC... Paula, the MAC, try the MAC paint pots. They're like a very thick cream formula. And then put one layer, thin layer. Don't go crazy and don't go heavy. If you have too much product, inevitably it's going to crease. Like it's just, um, it's just, you can't, uh, it, it's, it's science basically. I mean, it's not science, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just gonna happen, right? It's like same thing if you have too much makeup right here where you smile, as you smile throughout the day, it's just natural that it's gonna, that makeup is gonna collect, so you wanna use less product there. Same thing goes for your eyes. The more product you have in your crease, if you're prone to your crease, your, I'm sorry, your eyelid creasing, your shadow, avoid too much thick product. So thin layers, make sure you set all those thin layers with a good setting powder, like a loose powder, and then you put your shadows on top and you should be good. I hope that helps you. I really think it will. You have two kind of good questions here. Okay. So this is Jay I'm going to finish my brows while he tells me some questions that I missed. Miss Jay Jones says, Hello, I love your style. I'm so impressed with inspired by your question. Are you using fake tan? Which is... Uh, not on my face, oh, but... Yeah. I try... I do fake tan, like fake tanning products. Um, usually around summer. I'll try like... I'll, I'll try some out. So the one I'm using right now... And I just use it on my legs, just FYI, because my legs, they don't ever see the sun, so they, they get naturally really pale. Like, they're a lot lighter than the rest of my body. Like, I'm just naturally tan. It's just my ethnicity. So to even out my body, I use, or I have been using the Gradual Tanner from Tan Lux, and it's really nice. And then, uh, Tom says, please, please help sweaty weather in Egypt. My makeup never holds, and I'm oily too. Oh my gosh, yeah. Absolutely, I have a video planned then I'm gonna film soon. It's all about um, how to humidity proof your makeup or tips on how to keep your makeup on through a high humidity climate. So stay tuned for that. I promise I'll try to get that out soon. Just gonna finish these brows up. Hmm. For the MAC paint pot, do you prefer brush or finger application ahead of time? Thank you. You know, I would do a brush because you want to just, if you have really oily eyelids, you want to avoid any finger, like touching your eyelids with your fingers because we have, no matter what, even if you wash your hands, we still have little bits of um, oil on our fingertips, right? So when you're 
touching your fingertips with your, or when you're touching your eyelids with your fingertips, you're no matter what depositing a really small amount of oil onto the lids and you want to avoid that at all costs. Mm. So I would suggest doing um, either a small flat brush and then blending out the edges so it's nice and soft, or you could just do a fluffy brush in the beginning and just blend on a thin layer and be good to go. And I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm missing a ton of really good questions. Okay, so this is a good one. Um, Nikki, how can we touch up our makeup under the killer sun of Greece and wear it as hot? What kind of sunscreen do you use? Do you reapply after two hours on top of your makeup? Um, I don't typically because I'm usually I'm usually inside, to be quite honest. But I do have a favorite way of retouching my sunscreen if I'm going to do so. It's um, this spray, setting spray. It's from Kula. I'm actually gonna feature it in a video that I'm gonna film very soon. It will be up very soon, so stay tuned for that. But it's a spray bottle, it looks like a setting spray. It feels like a setting spray, but it's got SPF 30. So after, usually after like I'm done with work, like shooting on set, and I'm in my car and I'm going home, I'll spray my entire face so that way the sun, when it's hitting my face as I'm driving home, it can be really aggressive. I feel like I'm protected. But I also put a hat on too. Just finishing my brows. They take a lot of time, a lot of finessing. Uh, Lauren says, hello, I got, I got on after um, did your foundation. It's so beautiful. Do you mind sharing what it is again? Oh my god, Lorraine, I'm obsessed with it. I'll show you really quick, but I'm also going to make sure I post it in the description, but it's from Image Skincare, and it's just, it's really good. It's a flawless foundation, broad spectrum SPF 30 foundation. It says conceal, but I use it as my entire foundation. It is so nice. Like, I was talking about in the beginning of this video how much I'm so impressed by it. You see me in the reflection of the compact. That's funny. Let's see, that's fine, Mitch. I don't. There he is. Say hi to Mitch. I probably look hideous. So funny. Don't do that to me. Uh, what do you think about? Oh. You gotta love alive, you know. What do you think about Natasha Denona? Um, in what way? I don't know. Adriana says. What do you I like her about? eyeshadow palettes a lot. I think they're pretty overpriced, but they're really nice. <laughs> also, Remo says, how does Kula smell? Stephanie says hi. I got the super good, uh, super, uh, super, goop. super goop face mist and it smells terrible. Oh, I hate the super goop one. It's awful. Um, I know that's a strong word, but I really don't like that one too. I've tried it, couldn't stand it. The Kula one just um, kind of smells like alcohol. I'm sure there's alcohol in it. But it's not bad. It's not like offensive. You just want to make sure you don't get in your eyes. So be, just be careful if you're going to try it. Okay. I cannot believe we're nearing the end again of another live. What happens to the time? What happens to the day? I don't get it. It's just crazy to me. So I'm going to grab my lip. And this has been... Mm. This has been my go-to combo lately, but I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, so hold on. I want more of a long-lasting lip, so what I'm gonna do is cocktail these three products. I'm gonna start with my lip liner. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Hazelnut. Willa says, I used to have the same issue with eyeshadow creasing and, and now um, I use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer like the tiniest little bit and spread all over my eyelids and set it mm. and it works perfectly. Yeah, nice. Shape Tape is good. Beautiful. Thank you, your husband. Oh, you're so sweet. And his sunscreen sticks work. Sticks work for reapplying, not the drugstore ones though. K beauty ones. Hmm. Ooh, I'll have to try that. I do actually like the super goop stick roll on sunscreen. Oh yeah, I like that one. Yeah, Mitch actually likes it too. I try to put that on his face when he golfs. 
Otherwise he freaks out if I try to put anything too greasy on his face. He just does not like it. Anyway, I'm gonna put my Makeup by, Mar Makeup by Mario lipstick in the shade Sam on top. This is a very matte lipstick, so I'm going to cocktail it with my Jello Gloss Balm for comfort and some shine. Who's that says you, you should do a Dollar Tree makeup challenge? Oh man. Oh, that would be fun. Have you used a skin enhancer? Yes, I love it. I love it. I am a huge fan of it. I'm on my second one. That's how much I like it. And I wear the shade medium dark for that. Okay, now onto my Jello Gloss Balm. This is the shade Barely Nude. This is also in my collab with Girlactic. Melissa says, favorite highlighter to blend with. Oh, nice. Thank you, Wilma. Okay, so Melissa says, favorite highlighter to blend with body cream for glow. Favorite highlighter to blend with body cream. Hmm. Well, do you mean like loose or powder? Because I typically would just do... Um, like an actually like an actual illuminating product that's meant for the body. And then if I want to have a little bump up in the intensity, I'll take like usually my Dior Backstage um, face and or is it Backstage face and body? The highlighter, it's like the four different colors. I just swirl into all of them and I hit like the the top of the shoulder bone, the decollete, the collarbone. But I love, love for my makeup kit, I love the Patrick Ta. I can't remember what it's called, but it comes in like a square jar. It smells incredible. And it's like a jelly texture, like very, very glossy, very wet looking on your skin, but it has like a bronze shimmer in it. It's ridiculously stunning. Every time I put that on my client's legs, like I'll put it on the front of the legs for like photos, it looks unreal. So test it out if you haven't yet, highly recommend it. I just need a little more bronze on my forehead and then this look is done. So hang on. I'm going to grab Rose Martin says, my yeah. Casablanca again. Did you put on a new makeup by Mario blush? She's just getting on. No, I didn't, but I did put on a new blush. It's the new shade Bloom from Persona Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. So it'll all be linked or it will be listed below. Oh my God, Nancy, thank you. What's your favorite skin tint? I just love everything about, oh my God, you're so sweet. My favorite skin tint. Gosh, I feel like I have quite a few, but I like the Tower 28 Sunny Days. That is beautiful on. I love, love that formula. It's like a tinted moisturizer and it's just gorgeous. Okay, my skin is looking good. I'm feeling good. My throat, or well, my voice sounds a teeny bit better. But this is the finished look. I just want to keep it really true to what, you know, my makeup style is and just keep it nice and neutral for this very gloomy Sunday. Um, but I had a blast doing this. I, as always, like, this is like the highlight of my week. I love talking to you all and catching up with you all and like a real, like, you know, like, what is it? Like, this is like, you know, it's not in person, but it's in real time. Jeez, sorry, I need coffee again, I guess. Um, I love talking to you guys in real time. This is such a blast for me. So if I missed any of your questions and you really want them answered, feel free to leave your question one more time in the comments of this video once it's uploaded. That way I can kind of go back throughout the week and check on them and, you know, see if I missed any. So feel free to leave that there. I'll have the whole list of products that I use in the description. And I'll also leave the link to my Girlactic collab. And then what else was I gonna say? Oh, stay tuned for another mega haul with bronzers because that is coming up. I know, spoiler alert, if you missed it, I talked about it earlier, but it's coming up. Thank you, Michaela. But I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. I hope you're all off. If you're not, I hope you just enjoy your day anyway. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye, everyone. Sorry about the voice. I'll be better next week. <laughs>